Have you ever witnessed a disaster in your life? Six years ago, a major earthquake struck my hometown, Taiwan. As a structural engineer, I served in an inspection team to perform door-to-door -door damage assessment. We took almost 10 days to investigate the damage to the whole city so that the government could distribute the resources to citizens for better recovery. Imagine that we had to collect data and take pictures inside almost collapsed buildings. Believe me, that process was pretty dangerous and very time consuming. With this motivation, I decided to research how can I use new technologies to improve the current practice of damage assessment. My research aims to speed up the process of damage assessment without risking life of first responders. How do I achieve this? I adopt drones and artificial intelligence AI to assist in the human-based damage assessment. After disasters, investigators can immediately fly drones into the disaster affected areas and just take pictures and take videos using drones without being there in person. At the same time, they can use my developed artificial intelligence algorithm to automatically detect the damage buildings and classify the damage level in real time. I collected many drone videos from different disasters, including hurricanes, tornadoes, and earthquakes to further enhance the model performance. It is amazing that my model can achieve almost 70% accuracy, which is very close to the human expert performance at 73%. My AI model also has one very interesting feature. It tends to focus on the roof condition of buildings to determine the overall damage level after hurricane events. This particular behavior is exactly the same as human expert performing door-to-door -door damage assessment because usually roofs suffer more under strong wind compared to other components of buildings. Overall, this work provides a safer option for decision makers, for example, TDEM, Texas Division of Emergency Management, to obtain damage information in a timely manner after disasters. Also, this work can improve post-disaster evacuation for citizens like all of us. This is particularly important for people who need urgent help from the government. Last but not least, because of this work, first responders now don't have to put their lives in danger in order to fulfill their duties. Now, let me go back to the question in the beginning. Have you ever witnessed a disaster in your life? Once disasters happen, my research will help you find how disasters affect your neighborhood without risking your life going outside of your shelter place. Thank you.